How's it going everybody? My name is Casey and welcome to part number two of level 41. The Vulgar Vulgari Jewelry Store is done and with it we will get Bernice Hibbert. Kaboom! Awesome! Hey, it's What's-Her-Face! That's right ladies, my husband's a doctor. <laughs> Hey, bonus level up, so I want three donuts. Nope. Nope. Hey, there we go. Blew 100k, but what does it matter? Three donuts. So I don't know if she has a voice or not. I don't know if she's voiced by one of these six main actors. We'll see. Nope. Some things never change. Even a nuclear blast couldn't make this town more interesting. There must be something I can do to amuse myself. Aw, oh, that's so mean. What did Marge ever do to you? Alright, well for four hours. Ooh. Run, Marge! Run! Why you gotta pick on Marge, Bernice? Midlife crisis, or are you just a bitch? Be interesting to see what Marge says about this. This this really has been fun, Marge. You always make me feel better. Thank you. I'm sorry. I mean, you always make me feel better than you. Annoyed, Berber. But all this slumming has given me a craving for something expensive. Could you point me towards the nearest store you can't afford? You gonna shop the day away, okay, whatever. Oh, a full day, so it's gotta be the quickie marts. No, it's not! Oh, she's going to the jewelry store, that's what it is. That's what it is, the jewelry store. Where is it? I think it's over here. First of all, what does it sound like? Uh, okay, sounds like a store. With items being purchased. It looks like the items in the front window are probably going to light up. Probably, maybe the sign will light up, or maybe this will go, the thingy. Let's see. Well, it was pretty obvious, based off the windows. Hey! It looks like a scared face. Those are the eyes. That is the mouth. Oh yeah, and Bernice is still a bitch. Seriously, she is such a frosty box. And if you don't know what that means, uh, look it up, I guess. I don't know. Darling, look at this bracelet I bought. At $5,300, it's a vertible steal. Well, I hope you stole it. We can't afford any extravagant purchases right now. What? Why? I'm sorry, but business has been slow. For some strange reason, all the people in Springfield are currently healthy. I'm sure you can find a way to make some people sick. Lord knows you make me sick right now. Ah, I get it. That was your attempt at humor. Woman, I've never heard you say anything so awful. My brother Chester is going to stay with us for a while. What's up, Doc? What's up, Bugs Bunny? I stand corrected. Oh! They're going to argue, Chester's going to crash on the couch. What fun they're going to have. It looks like things are definitely wrong at the Hibbert household. Or, I guess the office. Things are definitely wrong at Hibbert's office. Uh... I don't think it's Lisa. Or maybe it is, let's see. Nope. 
I am furious. If Julius thinks he can just cut me off, he's got another thing coming. Well, I won't cut you off. I never cut anyone off. That's what makes me a horrible bartender. Thank you. I'm just so tired of being told no. You just bought a $5,300 bracelet. Go to hell. You're telling me. Even with my magic 8-ball, all I ever got was no or ask again later. And then it gave me just give up already. I didn't even know that was an option. Oh, she's gonna drink. Oh, do I even have five... Barflies? Oh, I hope I do. What the? Alright, that's Homer. No! That's one. Mm -hmm. Skinner. Fine. I'm afraid I'll have to cut Barney. you off. No oh, and Lenny and Carl. Duh. Did you know that Bernice in the show is an alcoholic? I did it more, yeah, Lenny. I do we find dead? happiness at the bottom of the glass. Word to the wise, stay away from the ladies' room. There's a family of raccoons living in there. That, or a family of very small burglars. Okay. Huh? Wow, Bernice. I never really liked you before. But then again, I never really drank heavily with you before either. Oh, uh, see, she is an alcoholic. For 12 hours, she's going to fall off the bandwagon. Oh, uh, and there's an animation. I think she needs Susan the Witch's cane or stick or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. She definitely needs it. She's very unstable on her feet. And going back to that she's an alcoholic, it's the episode with Prohibition when Rex Banner, he decides to cut off the beer supply in Springfield. Come on, Bernice. You can do this. You're a strong, independent woman. Ow, my head. Consider yourself lucky I didn't throw you in jail. Instead, I took pictures and posted them to Springface. You'd be surprised how much more effective law enforcement has become since the reintroduction of public shaming. Oh, I'm so embarrassed at my behavior. Well, you should be. You're about to be a lot more embarrassed at your very own, very personal, very public intervention. <gasps> Dr. Herod is such a wonderful oh, husband. My. He cares about his wife. This is a horrible situation. <laughs> Ooh, ten characters. I think what I'll the... just do some of them. No! So, hope he's on board. What? Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he drank, but he's going. Agnes Skinner? Sure, why not? Whoa. Boo! Right. I'm gonna make you feel how I look! Barty, I'll end it on this, cause, well, it's Barty. That's all I'm gonna say. It's so awesome that Bernice has a loving husband and awesome friends to help her in this dark, dark time. Oh my. That's oh, right. Land lover style. Holy moly, so many people in such a small building. Coco Beanie takes up most of it. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I feel like I've let you down. You didn't let me down, honey. You just shamed me and our family and let me down. Will you forgive me? Probably not, but thanks to medical morphine, I'll forget. Oh, now they're going to turn to an AA meeting. Is Homie going to help? I think it would be kind of weird if he did. 
I'll see you. Go! It's a miracle! And I'll just Go! do a few more. Where are the dodgeballs? Fine. Ow! So guess what guys? The final quest is about to pop up. But Bernice finally got the help she needed, which is just awesome. Homer Simpson, I didn't know you finally acknowledged you had an alcohol problem. Alcohol problem? I just came here for the free donuts. I said I came here for the free donuts. Here's a free donut. Yep, they actually gave us a free donut. Hey, you know what? It's kind of silly, but free is free, right? I'm sorry I lost control and embarrassed us. And I'm sorry I ran over the neighbor's dog and disposed of it in the lake instead of just telling them. What? It's nice to forgive each other. So, they're going to make up with each other. I'm not going to ask what that is. Let's just use our active imaginations to figure out what that's going to be. So for one hour, they're going to go... Oh! Active imagination, remember what I said. I to play Let's doctor. just keep it to ourselves. Anyways, that is going to wrap up level 41 in The Simpsons Tapped Out. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. That would be so amazing. I would really appreciate it a lot. So thanks for watching. My name's KC, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.